Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson, and this is the Maki Vlog with another news update about the Mustang Maki. One of the questions I get asked most about the Mustang Mach-E is when is it going to get delivered to customers? While I still don't have an exact date, it seems like we're getting very close to a final answer on that. In October, a lot of early U.S. reservation holders got an email that stated when their production week was going to be for their Mach-E. I put in a reservation for a Mustang Mach-E at the LA Auto Show on November 22nd, 2019, and I converted that to an order on June 27th. And in the email that I got from Ford, my production week for my Mach-E is December 21st. That's very exciting for me, and I know a lot of other people got their production dates, and they are also excited. It's been posted in the Mach-E forums, a lot of different dates. I think the earliest that I saw was November 23rd. There's a lot more that are coming in December. Um, so far, I've only seen one January production date, but Ford is going to continue to release scheduled production dates over the next few weeks. You can check your own production date by going to Ford.com and logging into your account, checking your reservations and orders. You should also get an email from Ford once they scheduled your Mach-E for production. It also seems that the Canadian Mach-E orders are being included in this first run of production. From what's been posted in Mach-E form, it looks like any European Mach-E's won't get produced until early in January with delivery in early spring of 2021. So even if you know your production week, things can still change. We still have issues related to COVID-19 that could change that. But all in all, I'm really excited to have a production date scheduled for my Mach-E, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Ford has also been promoting the Mach-E with some road shows. They did a couple in Europe, including the UK and Germany. And right now they're doing a pretty big road show up the West Coast and in the Northeast of the United States. I'll put a link in the description so you can look at the schedule and see if there's one near you. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any scheduled for the Midwest, the Rocky Mountain states, or the Southeast at this time, but there are a bunch scheduled in the Northeast and along the West Coast if you're there. They've already had a few of these road shows and there's been a lot of posts on Maki Forum about those. Lots of pictures, lots of firsthand accounts of what it's like to sit in a Maki. There's still no test drives yet. But there's a lot of other good information being found out by the people that do get to see the Mach-E. If you do want to test drive the Mach-E, the rumor is, is that by the end of November or early December, dealers will start to receive their test drive version of the Mach-E. Not every dealer is going to get a Mach-E, but most should. And they will only probably have one Mach-E per dealer when they do have one. If you're interested in taking a test drive, I'm sure if you have an order in, you should already be in contact with your dealer, but I would reach out to them now and let them know that as soon as they get it, you wanna take it for a test drive. I know that's a lot of US specific information, but hopefully there's more information coming out about the Maki in Europe. From what I understand, I think the order banks have opened up in Norway in September, and the UK order bank should be opening up pretty soon to convert your reservation into an order. In any case, I suggest reaching out to your dealer. They should have some good information for you in your country. There's also a little bit of news coming out about the different pieces of technology that are included in the Mach-E. One thing I'm interested to learn more about is the Sync 4A system that's going to be featured on that 15 and a half inch screen in the Mach-E. During one of the roadshow events, somebody sat down and sort of went through a lot of the screens. I'll put a link to that video up above so that you can take a look at that. But it looks like it's a very smooth interface and there's just tons and tons of options. And it looks like it might take a while to go through all of them and learn everything that the Mach-E can do. Someone also posted some screenshots of what's called the remote vehicle setup. That's where you can go to your phone and set up your preferences for the Mach-E before you even take delivery of it. Ford has really touted this feature, but to be honest, looking at the screenshots, there isn't a ton of stuff that you can really set up beforehand. You can set up some of the basics, but I don't think it's like a huge big deal, but uh, I can't wait till I can do that on my own Mach-E. There's also more information coming out about the hands-free driving mode that Ford is going to be releasing in fall of 2021. If you buy a premium, a first edition, or a California Route 1, your Mach-E will be already ready for that. If you're buying a Select, you'll need to select the Comfort and Technology package, which is $3,200 to enable to get it ready for the hands-free driving mode. 
And then once it's released, it's gonna be a $600 fee for a three year subscription for hands-free driving. Ford was upfront about the fact that they planned on charging for the hands-free driving mode. And most people are pretty excited that it's only gonna be $600 for a three year subscription. If you're not familiar with what the hands-free driving mode is, basically it's going to allow the Mach-E to drive literally hands-free. You can do hands off the steering wheel, on major roads in the US. They say they will start with 100,000 miles of roads that have been mapped. And what I mean by mapped is they are taking vehicles out there with specially equipped equipment, um, LIDAR being one of them, and mapping out roads so they have a very high definition map of every road that it will be enabled on. If you look at the system that Tesla uses, they monitor the driver by, you have to have your hands on the steering wheel at all times, or you're supposed to. In the Mach-E, they're gonna use a combination of a camera to track and make sure that you're still paying attention to the road. And if you are, you can take your hands off while the car is driving on these roads that are pre-mapped. On roads that aren't mapped, you will still be able to use lane centering, lane keep, adaptive cruise control. So it will still have a lot of the nice features. You just won't be able to go hands-free. So that's really all the Mustang Mach-E news I have for right now. I'm sure over the next few weeks, we're gonna start getting more and more information. Hopefully we'll have a test drive vehicle that we can go and play around with pretty soon. In the meantime, I'll try to make some other Mustang Mach-E related videos. If you have any subject you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. I was thinking about maybe doing a video comparing the Mach-E to other competitors besides Tesla, or maybe something like looking at the different financing options and information about the tax credits. I'm not sure. You tell me what you want to see a video done on. And on a personal and fun note, my wife just got a new 3D printer. I think it's called a Prusa Mini, but she found a file, or actually I found the file, but she made it work with the Prusa and we printed out a 3D version of the Mustang Mach-E logo. It has a little bit of stray bits here and there. I think it looks pretty sharp, what do you think? Here's a clip of video of it actually being printed. It took about four hours for this thing to print. It's a pretty neat process, and I'm really happy with the way it came out, and I like the, the color that we chose for it as well. I thought about selling these, but I'm not sure I want to get involved in something that takes four hours to print, but maybe I'll use it as a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers to a, a lucky winner. And speaking of subscribers, if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the channel, do all that stuff that'll help me out. And until next time, have a great day.